Welcome to Proclaim, a presentation of the Catholic Diocese of Alexandria. Join us as we journey together through the scriptures revealed to us by God. Good morning and welcome to Proclaim. As we continue in our introductory thoughts, preparing us for the text of Matthew's Gospel, it's also good to keep in mind that the manuscripts as they exist are very different from modern books that in most cases there's nothing in the manuscript itself that describes who the author is. There's nothing that is in the manuscript that's the equivalent of putting the publication date. There's nothing that we take for granted as information that we know before we start reading a book. So a lot of things are left to the scholars to try to piece together either from the text itself or from other witnesses. The only indication of the author of the Gospels is generally something that was added much later and it definitely was not something that authors chose to put down themselves. They were very much interested in the material and the Gospel, not in their reputations. And because we don't know where they were written, we don't know except by somewhat of a guess or conclusion who they were intended for, many of those things are helpful to at least raise those questions, realizing that in most cases we're not going to have definitive answers. And even among the scholars over the centuries, there have been great controversies and great debates arguing back and forth for a variety of possibilities. And so the things that I'll be sharing are just part of that very large discussion, things that seem to make sense as we begin this study of the gospel. This program was brought to you by Antoon Enterprises.